Save more than half price on Seedless Red Grapes, only $2.99 per pound. Certified Angus Beef Top Sirloin Steak, just $8.99 per pound. Select varieties of Purex 2X Laundry Detergent, only $4.99 for a 50-ounce bottle. Select varieties of Arizona Drinks, just $7.99 for a 12-pack. Nestle's Cheerio Cereal, only $4.99 for a 397-gram box. All stores are open Monday through Saturday until 10 p.m. and Sunday 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. for your shopping convenience. You can count on us. Well, if you saw in today's newspaper, we gave them a report card, which gave them a, a D plus, and that was on the basis of a number of, of initiatives that they had um, undertaken. Some of them related to their um, throne speech, some of them related to their uh, election manifesto, and some of them just related to things that they had decided that they, they were going to put on. I, I have to start off talking about health care. They said that one of, the, one of their promises was that they were going to come in, they were going to reduce the cost of health care, that they were going to do a review of the health care costs because health care is one of the most important expenses that, a, that the Bermuda, uh, average Bermudian faces. Twelve months on, we still don't see that. So mm -hmm. that would have been one of the first things that we looked at. There was also um, the, the indication that um, trying to make um, Bermudians um, de wrestle with the cost of living. The cost of living in Bermuda is going up because they have come up with increased taxes and they gave um, the, the, the citizens some increases in their pensions, but then all the new taxes that have been put into place, people are not, they've taken away everything that they gave them. Has the BLP carried out any of their promises prior to the election? Well, um, we have obviously have to look at the fact that um, they increased the guarantee the um, the guarantees that they would give to new businesses, which was something that the OBA had thought of doing. So it's an OBA initiative. So we have to support that. They have done. They've increased the amount of um, money that's available to students that want to go into the Bermuda College. We understand that, and we appreciate that. That's been very good. But then on the flip side of it, you have the the, the problem with education. The the education system. You still have the commissioner of education um, has not been finalized. Save a dollar ten on Purdue Fresh Chicken Lake quarters, only a dollar seventy nine per pound. For a great snack, red and black plums, just two ninety nine a pound, saving two dollars. Four roll Charmin Ultra Soft or Strong Toilet Tissue, just five twenty five. Hot price on select varieties of craft shredded cheese, only three fifty nine for an eight ounce bag. Save two fifty six on Halo Top ice cream, only six forty nine for a one pint tub. Visit our website at www.marketplace.pm for more weekly specials. You can count on us. From happy beginnings and life choices that we make along the way. Colonial protects your lifestyle with the best insurance cover at the best possible price. Health insurance with far-reaching benefits. Family protection and long-term financial plans. Business insurance and generous employee benefits. For happy beginnings to happy ever after, visit cgigroup.com. Colonial, where people come first. Bermuda. Join us at the Snorkel Park Beach and Bermuda's favorite old school DJs for a fun night of dancing under the stars to the best of old school R&B, house, soul, reggae, soca, calypso, pop, hip hop, and more. It's Sonic Gold Saturdays. The grown-up party, the big people party, dressed smart and sexy with a spectacular DJ lineup. It's Mikey B. Malcolm Lethal Weapon Smith. DJ Iceman. Mark. Kitty. 
Juggling Jason and yours truly, the Matrix Ninja Cutty. I will be there with special live performances by Reggae Sensation Mox. Gate open 8 p.m. Admission is free before 10. Ten dollars after. So get there early. Snorkel Park Beach, Solid Gold Saturdays. DJ lineup for July the 21st. Juggling J, Mikey B, and Iceman. See you there. We apologize there for the technical difficulties. Going back to our top story, a failing grade. That's the mark given to the PLP government by the opposition today on the first anniversary of the PLP's general election victory. We asked OBA leader Gene Atherton to reflect on the PLP's time in office over the last 12 months. Well, if you saw in today's newspaper, we gave them a report card. We gave them a, a D plus. And that was on the basis of a number of, of initiatives that they had um, undertaken, some of them related to their um, throne speech, some of them related to their uh, election manifesto, and some of them just related to things that they had decided that they, they were going to put on. I, I have to start off talking about health care. They said that one of, the, one of their promises was that they were going to come in, they were going to reduce the cost of health care, that they were going to do a review of the health care costs because health care is one of the most important expenses that, that the Bermuda, uh, average Bermudian faces. Twelve months on, we still don't see that, so that would have been one of the first things that we looked at. There was also um, the, the indication that um, trying to make um, Bermudians um, de wrestle with the cost of living. The cost of living in Bermuda is going up because they have come up with increased taxes and they gave um, the, the, the citizens some increases in their pensions but then all the new taxes that have been put into place people are not, they've taken away everything that they gave them. Has the PLP carried out any of their promises prior to the election? Well, um, we have obviously have to look at the fact that um, they increased the, guarantee, the, um, the guarantees that they would give to new businesses, which was something that the OBA had thought of doing. So it's an OBA initiative, so we have to support that. They have done, they've increased the amount of um, money that's available to students that want to go into the Bermuda College. We understand that and we appreciate that that's been very good. But then on the flip side of it, you have the, the, the problem with education. The, the education system, you still have the commissioner of education um, has not been finalized. In response, a PLP spokesperson told us while the OBA is singularly focused on trying to distract from their internal divisions and lack of proactive ideas, the PLP remains focused on the people of Bermuda. The spokesman adding, this is exactly why we are hosting our community give back dinner on Thursday at 5 p.m. for those in need. They add this government, your government, is committed to executing our agenda as laid out in last year's election platform and most importantly focused on putting Bermudians first. And Premier David Burt will give a special television address to the country tomorrow about his government's first year in office. We'll bring it to you in full on this channel and also on our sister channel, ZFB TV7. The Premier's address will air on Thursday starting at approximately 6.40 p.m. Well, land ownership details have long been a controversial issue in Bermuda. The new land title registry is meant to help bring that to an end. And as Mike Sharp reports, progress has been made with 9,000 out of 28,000 parcels of land on the island already registered. The Minister of Public Works, Colonel David Birch, and the registry staff shared their knowledge in their new office on Victoria Street. Minister Birch said there was a need to move away from the deeds-based system. We've had some specific discussions in, in the office because you, you will know that every Bermudian family has been told you do not hand over your deeds for, in, <laughs> for love or money. Um, and so we've, you know, we, we've talked through how we can bring some comfort to them that they'll actually get the deeds back. Um, at the end of the validation process, but this one piece of paper at the end of the day, which will be online electronically, yes. will be the record. And so nobody can steal this. And so they will never lose land or rights to land ever again. Land Registrar Debbie Reed of Jamaica said, Bermuda has moved in line with the rest of the world. 
Bermuda is one, one of the last um, countries to implement land title registration. Um, there are some other islands such as the Bahamas who are looking at it now, but um, most jurisdictions already have land title registration. Have you heard of several cases, even here of late if you will, where the disputes have had to go to courts because there was no land title registry uh, computerization dealing with just deeds? Yeah, I mean, even today we had a, a, a lady come in um, with regards to, um, she felt that her grandfather had willed her land to, to her, and it's now turned out that um, somebody else has registered the property in their name, and we're trying to track back to see how it happened. Um, we got as far as we could go, and then it really does boil down to now looking at the, um, the will to see what's happened. Project manager Richard Foles of the UK, who has 30 years experience under his belt, spoke about the land parcels and what the land title registry will accomplish and avoid. There are 28,000 land parcels roughly on this island, around a third of them are already registered, being government land or public lands, um, and we want to encourage everybody to register their land with us, because we will be replacing the deeds with a single title. Now, the paper title is a copy of it. It will be held on a database, and that database cannot be destroyed. Okay? A registered title is guaranteed to be correct. A registered title cannot be fraudulently altered. Mm -hmm. A registered title cannot be copied. A registered title cannot be lost, misplaced, or destroyed by flood or fire. A registered title cannot bear forged signatures. And a registered title is the most secure way of holding land, which is why we want to encourage everybody to do so. In part two of this interview, you will hear from Serene Babb and Kareem Wint. I'm Mike Sharp with Bermuda Broadcasting News. A woman was taken to hospital this morning after a medical emergency at Deep Bay in Pembroke. A group of young men, including crew members from a local charter boat, administered first aid. They kept her stable until an ambulance arrived and took her and her husband to the hospital. Police this evening say that the woman suffered a panic attack while in the water. She is reported to be conscious and walking around. Well, fancy learning about how to get a qualification, but too busy to make that detour to Bermuda College? Well, people in Hamilton today had the opportunity to find out more about what's available right by City Hall. The college opened a pop-up office providing advice and information in the hope of boosting student numbers. Hal Davis went along to see what was on offer. The college is calling this an information boutique. It's the second one held at this location this year, with the third coming up on August the 6th. And the college says setting up here means they reach people who might not otherwise consider coming to their campus. We're really quite regional in that, you know, the, the country is only so small, but the college is not in town. Right? And, you know, we hear pretty consistently like, oh, I do need to come and see you guys, but ah, you're way up there. And, Pat, and so being present in the heart of the city um, to make it that much easier for folks to get in contact with us so we can ask them about what they're interested in and then support them through the process of getting involved in the college. It definitely makes it um, more likely that we're going to see more folks. It might not look terribly sophisticated, just a sunshade, a couple of tables and a couple of chairs. But the tent behind me has the capacity to change lives, with dozens of people turning up to inquire about courses at the college today alone. Among them, one young woman considering taking up teaching. I actually came to get more information on the teaching certification program that I offer at Bermuda College. I just so happen to be in town. I'm never in town, so when I saw it, I thought I'd better take advantage of the opportunity. So it's a good thing it was here today, then? Yes. <laughs> Ms. Pierman is not the only one looking to upgrade her skills. Akil Jones wants to find out about training to be a mechanic. I'm just looking to make a lot better change for myself and just improve myself because um, I work at um, Bermuda Rentals and I'm very intelligent in um, machines, so I'm just trying to you know, enhance my craft and do better for myself. For the recruiters, meanwhile, the chance to transform lives means today is important. This is the start of um, like a whole new phase in their overall lives, and it, there's not there, there's not a lot of work that's more significant than that. I, I don't think like it's, it matters. I, I smile about it a lot because um, it's important, and, and the Bermuda College is really grateful to be able to, to play this role in Bermuda society. 
and for those signing up to courses before August the 8th, there's an added incentive. A $300,000 government grant means funding for students is currently available. Howell Davis, Bermuda Broadcasting News. Time for a look at the latest weather now. Here's our AccuWeather forecast. AccuWeather is presented by BFNM Insurance Group. We now go to AccuWeather headquarters. This AccuWeather forecast here on ZBN is brought to us by our friends at the BFNM Insurance Group. Some of you may have uh, seen the lightning or heard the thunder off to the east uh, as a, a little thunderstorm popped up not too far away. And we've had a couple of showers in the area earlier as well. Uh, to the west, big plume of moisture. Extra rain is in the forecast, but there's a narrow band of dry air that will actually give us a little bit of breathing room tonight and through much of the day tomorrow. And as uh, that moisture to the east fades and the uh, band of the more legitimate rain to the west will take a little bit of time to actually arrive, even though it's not all that far away. Uh, visible satellite shows that the, the uh, flickers of cloud cover off to the east is uh, they're going to begin to fade as the sun sets. 82 degrees right now. We have humidity 75 to 80 percent. Pretty active wind from the south southwest at 15 to 20 knots. Water temp is at 83. Small waves on the inside, only one to two feet. On the outside, we have three to five footers out there. So maybe a little bit of a rock or a roll to uh, your trip out on the boat, but uh, otherwise we should be okay. Uh, the upcoming tide schedule, if you will, it's not a forecast as we know exactly when this is going to happen. Uh, low tide is at 810, so the tide is on the way out. Tide comes back in in the middle of the night, goes back out, low tide at 840 a.m. Thursday, and then there's another mid-afternoon high tide, 252 on Thursday afternoon. So tonight, partly cloudy, warm out there. That wind is going to keep things fairly warm. A breeze from the south, southwest, 77 degrees is as low as we go. Tomorrow, a breezy day with some sunshine. It looks good. It'll feel pretty nice. 84 degrees for your high. And then the clouds will begin to thicken a little bit. Here's Futurecast showing that recent little batch of moisture responsible for the recent shower and thunderstorm action nearby and especially to our east earlier today. That's going to fizzle away and kind of get uh, absorbed and, and just uh, chewed apart by some sinking air. But to the west, you can see the more widespread area of moisture and some showers, periods of rain associated with that. That will draw near on Thursday night and into Friday and Saturday, we have a good chance for some showers here. In the eastern part of North America, we're looking at sunshine, great weather, low humidity in Toronto, beautiful summer weather, 81 in New York, Boston looks good as well. Scattered showers and storms into Atlanta and Miami. And across to the east, we have London, England, 81, nice summer-like weather there as well. Down into the Caribbean, we have scattered showers. Some will experience a thunderstorm, uh, but there are no tropical threats at this point, so that's good news. Five-day forecast, we talked about the dry weather tomorrow, the arrival of that band of moisture from the west Thursday night, and then we get wet Thursday night into Friday and Saturday, a couple of wet days, and then we see some improvements. Temperatures stay up, though. 83 for highs, lows in the mid to upper 70s, Sunday and Monday look nice. Back to you. AccuWeather was presented by BFNM Insurance Group. This summer I was in Germany on holiday with my family and on a whim one day my son and I joined a speed sliding competition and as I came down the water slide I went straight down in the pool and whacked my left foot on the bottom of the pool and I looked down and I didn't see a foot. I just saw the bones sticking out and I started to feel faint. I was ambulanced to a hospital where I stayed for 11 days and had surgery. I had snapped all the ligaments on both sides of my ankle. And in the middle of all this stress and pain, we thought, how are we going to deal with health insurance? How will we pay for this? And I got a response from Allison at BFNM and she said, your admission and surgery will be covered at 100%. I didn't have to put it on a credit card and deal with the reimbursement later. It made such a big difference to us. And for me, the BFNM difference is stress-free insurance when I really needed it. Super Camp. It was an awesome experience. 
I got to meet a lot of new people. And then we also learned about the eight keys of excellence. Keys open doors, keys, keys open doors. Super Camp is not like other camps. There's a strong focus here about looking at the options and the choices you have available to you and choosing the one that best reflects who you are. I learned a lot about the way that I have to keep pushing and pressing for no matter what's going on. The best thing about Super Camp, it allows you the space to truly be yourself. Anytime somebody finally came into their own presence and felt comfortable being who they were, that was a special moment for me at Super Camp. Super Camp is about exploring who you are and transforming yourself. It only gets better! We invite you to join the transformation of a generation. Surface Trends has been serving Bermuda for over 25 years, supplying and installing tile and natural stone. We have a large and stock selection of beautiful porcelain wood planking, including our exclusive Bermuda cedar tile. You will also find Bermuda's best in stock selection of countertops, including natural granites, exotic quartzites, and sile stone engineered quartz in all the newest colors. Our team will be happy to help you. Stop by our showroom at 17 Serpentine Road or give us a call at 295-8005. From a record fine to an acquisition finale to perhaps a final farewell, Tony Waterman has your business mashup. A for sale sign has been posted outside of Ariel Sands. The Devonshire property has been an actor Michael Douglas's family since the 1840s. The asking price, $12.5 million. That will buy you 14.5 acres of zoned tourism land, including Woodland Reserve and 300 feet of pristine coastline. The property was a hotel with multiple cottages, but shuttered in 2008. Plans to redevelop the site were talked about for years, but never happened. According to the listing, the property is ready for immediate development. It's a done deal for American International Group and Validus Holdings. AIG closed its $5.6 billion acquisition of the Bermuda-based reinsurer after getting the green light from regulators and shareholders. The deal folds Validus's four businesses into AIG's portfolio, giving AIG a substantial Lloyds of London presence with Talbot underwriting. AIG CEO and President Brian Dupro has been looking to expand the company after it nearly shut down during the 2008 financial crisis. Most of Validus' senior management is set to join AIG, although chairman and CEO Edward Noonan is expected to leave. When it comes to records, this isn't one any business wants to claim. Google has been slapped with a record $5 billion fine. The European Commission says the tech giant abused its power in the Android mobile phone market by forcing manufacturers to pre-install the Google search app and Chrome browser. More than 80% of smartphones run on Google's Android operating system. Europe's antitrust chief said this denied rivals the chance to innovate and compete. Google has 90 days to fix the problem or face more penalties. The Android system is a hugely profitable business for Google, and the ruling comes as more and more people search on their phones. I'm Tony Waterman, and that's your Business Mashup. And staying with business news, trading baseball cards could soon be so passé with Major League Baseball betting that crypto is the future. Later this summer, it's launching a crypto-based game which runs on blockchain. Fans will be able to buy digital avatars tied to specific moments in recent games. They can then sell or trade these avatars or earn rewards and stickers. It's a proven model. Users have spent $25 million worth on popular blockchain games. Crypto Kitty which allows users to buy and trade unique digital kittens. Still to come, a rival of a revival, rather, of a play that takes a moving look at family life on the island. Sears is Bermuda's largest home appliance store with over 200 appliances in our showroom. We have refrigerators and freezers, gas ovens and electric ranges, washers and dryers. Sears has a wide selection of craftsmen's tools and accessories. Beautify your home with our lawn and garden tools. We have everything you need for outdoor entertaining. Located at 41 Victoria Street, Sears is open Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Sears, reliable delivery, quality service, and everyday low prices.
Welcome to Bermuda Motors. Our skilled team of mechanics are second to none when it comes to expertise and experience. Regular servicing is essential to the life and the efficiency of your car. So we offer affordable fixed price services. No matter what car you drive, our paint and body shop will have your vehicle looking as good as new in no time. And no one beats our qualified paint and body technicians for quick, top quality work. Visit BermudaMotors.bm or call us at 292-0893. Welcome back. Navigating life, relationships, unresolved trauma, and family dynamics all to a 70s soundtrack. The stage play Grown Folk Talk returns this week after wowing audiences first time around. Written, produced, and directed by Patrice Frith Hayward, it's a mix of drama, comedy, romance, and often moving look at how people get along and get by here in Bermuda. She didn't want to lose him. Plus, she lost me. Relationships aren't always easy, and it's the emotional struggle between friends and family at a backyard barbecue that's at the center of the play. Raul and Crystal are hosting their annual get-together, which doesn't exactly go quite as planned. The characters are taken from an upcoming sequel to the best-selling book Island Sisters by Patrice Frith Hayward. She's also directing the play. We have the overbearing, interfering mother-in-law. That's one of the issues that a, a husband is dealing with. So he's trying to keep his mother and his wife happy. Very difficult task for him to do. And then there's a woman who is, just gets in relationships that don't work and she's been in a, relation, a repeat relationship with someone and she's just trying to figure out you know, who loves her, if anybody loves her, and she's just very bitter. Well, well, what's she ever done to you? Yeah, you can't even answer that, can you? Yes, I can. But now Frith Hayward now. says the characters are familiar to a Bermuda audience, with their relatability one of the keys to the play's popularity. The issues about unresolved baggage in the past that prevents people from growing, that's kind of what holds people back. And also in Bermuda, it stops us from getting help because it's Bermuda and everybody knows our business, so we just act like, a lot of times, act like everything is just fine. While tempers flare on stage, behind the scenes, it's considerably less tense. Tina Duke has been collaborating with Hayward for 20 years. She is just really not understanding why her friends would invite her ex-boyfriend to a gathering that she is at. Um, but otherwise, if that, she's, you know, our typical Bermudian diva, you know, you know, there's ones that hide their issues behind the makeup and the hair and so you see a lot of Melba's walking around and you don't necessarily know the story. Well, you'll find out uh, Melba's story when you come to the play. But it's not just the actors who star in this show. Bermuda's rich culture takes center stage. The backyard barbecue. We're, we're there, there, you'll see that there's an, a thing about people bringing food and taking food. Oh, you know, when we go to these things, somebody leaves with plates of food. So we talk about that, about the takeout, about bringing foil, about things like that. And it's, it's just important that people understand that we have something to offer. Grown Folk Talk returns to the Earl Cameron Theater at City Hall starting this Thursday, July 19th for three nights. And don't forget to bring your dancing shoes. At this time, we're turning it into a nice old school party. So when they're sitting in the audience, they'll be listening and waiting for the production to start. They'll be listening to old school music. So come early. Don't rush. Go get something to eat. You know, get there early. 7.30, I would say, because 8 o'clock, the lights go down. And sadly, no sport tonight with our sports reporter Earl based in news gathering for us in Columbia. We'll be hearing from him later on in the week. And don't forget, we'll be broadcasting Premier Burt's special address to the country tomorrow at approximately 6.40 p.m. That marks one year since the general election. But that's all from me and the team for tonight. I'm Jasmine Patterson. Hope to see you at the same time tomorrow. Have a good night.
Jasmine Patterson's wardrobe and makeup is provided by Gibbons Company.